Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, okay, so today I am just finishing the spars on the camper um, and adding the vertical spars as well. Um, that does include replacing some of the spars that unfortunately started sagging due to the rain and moisture while I attempted to keep the, the project outside um, during the Texas weather. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's overall pretty self-explanatory. Um, I'm going through, I made spars that reach from one wall to the other, and I am just attaching them to each wall using pocket hole joinery. As I mentioned in the last video, I adjust pocket holes, and with what you can see here, I do put supports underneath each one um, to provide the extra strength um, to each an individual one of these spars or stretchers or whatever you want to call them. In case you are wondering, uh, yes, there is a shelf here in the uh, bottom right hand corner um, that does get changed later on in the project. Uh, that is the overhead shelf that we have planned to kind of charge our media and stuff. And also, in case you are judging me right now for the amount of space between the spars around the bend, uh, that is also going to be fixed. In fact, we will be fixing that in this video. Somebody really should tell this guy to go ahead and turn his vacuum cleaner off. Not one person in this video wants to hear that. Yay, no more shop back noises. Now you just get to see me install more spars. So yeah, this is what I was talking about earlier. Um, I had a sagging spar that I installed um, at the beginning of the project. Unfortunately, even with the cover and a tarp on the camper, the moisture and humidity still ruined some of those so I ended up actually having to replace them with fresh wood same as I've been doing just uh, one inch by one and a half inch and pocket hole joinery and then remounted it and of course that meant I had to turn the stupid shop back back on yay sarcastic clapping And since I'm sure you guys know how to do pocket hole joinery and how to use a shop vac, I'll go ahead and speed this up so you don't have to watch two minutes of this thing. This kind of noise is a lot more pleasant. Birds chirping, outside, tools working. This is great. Uh, essentially, I'm just taking these new spars. Again, like I mentioned earlier, and they get a uh, pocket hole joined into the plywood, and then I have the wall support from the bottom that I'm also screwing into the new supports as well. Once all the horizontal spars or the wall-to-wall -wall spars were installed, um, I went ahead and started working towards installing the spar-to-spar -spar supports. Um, I didn't know why I was building this initially. It wasn't until I joined a Facebook group for TIY teardrop campers that I understood that what I'm actually doing here is a torsion box. 
And so I almost forgot to do these supports, thinking that they were not really necessary. So I'm glad for Facebook, I guess? And I want to apologize. I know my viewing angles and things um, do kind of stink. Um, I'm still working on all of that kind of stuff. And I promise later on videos they actually do get better. Um, in this one here, all I'm really doing is just cutting down the supports that I'm putting between the spars. Uh, table saw and miter um, track makes that pretty simple. And I just keep going back and forth. And you guessed it, there's more pocket holes to be screwed and drilled, and with that comes the shop back again. Um, I will work on making sure that that thing's not always on in my videos. Uh, in the meantime, um, yes, same thing. I'm just doing a po uh, pocket hole in each end of the support beam, and then I'm working on installing it between the spars. If the roof. It was at this point in the video where I realized that watching a grown man carry wood back and forth and screwing it into a project wasn't necessarily the most entertaining thing in the world. I can promise you this though, I was having a blast. Um, I'm extremely happy the camper is finally coming along the way it is. Um, but for your viewing pleasures, I went ahead and I sped this video up till we got to the next part. And here, all you're going to watch me do is just kind of start installing the supports for the front wall underneath the window frame that I built in the last video. Uh, which made me feel better about the window frame and it being properly supported. As the video is coming to a close, I just wanted to go ahead and say thank you for joining me today. If you found value in this video, please go ahead and subscribe and give it a thumbs up. And also don't forget that we do have the blog at rightamountofcampy.net as well as our Instagram at rightamountofcampy. Thanks and I'll see you next time.